Hapa'ali'i has many different translations or interpretations of its name. One of the translations for Hapa'ali'i is to elevate a chief or to support a chief. That's one of the more literal translations. Another translation is that it means to support many and the multitude of people which it took to actually come and support all the different chiefs and kahuna that resided in this area at one time. But the interpretation that I like for Hapaya Li'i is also the idea of Li'i meaning many, many stars, to support or to lift up stars or the multitude of different celestial beings that are up there is the translation and interpretation I prefer to think about. And that's because one of the functions for the heiau is to track the movement of the sun and the moon and the stars, but basically the sun. On the southern or southwestern corner of Hapaia'ali'i is where the Tropic of Capricorn is or the Alapolohiva a Kanaloa. So that's the furthest south that the sun is going to move. And we see here in the center of Hapaia'ali'i is where the Pico Oakea uh, resides and that's the equinox or the equator. And then the northwest corner is actually the furthest north that the sun will travel. And that's called the Tropic of Cancer which is the Alapolohiva Akane. So it takes three months for the sun to move from the northwestern corner to the center. And then it takes another three months from the center to the southwest corner. And then another three months to get back to the middle. And then another three months after that to get back to the northwestern corner. And that divides our year into four different seasons and marks the marching of the sun uh, for a 12-month period. One of the exciting things about Hapaia'ali'i is we discovered the use and the function of Hapaia'ali'i after the site was restored and did so by observing all the different movements, the celestial movements of stars, the moon, the sun throughout the year over years. So it was several years that we did that to discover what its function was. What's exciting for us is that's just one function we discovered and for us as we continue to work with the heiau and look at it every day and work with it every day more information is going to be revealed to us over time one of the things that we have to assist us is this webcam that we currently set up here and what it's doing is it's measuring all the different uh, weather things that are happening what the temperature is what the wind factor is what kind of rain is happening uh, we have live feed right now of a camera that shows you what's happening so you can watch the tidal movements and the current changes and we can actually shoot pictures at every sunset so we can sit here after the course of the year and have enough data to be able to watch the sun and the moon move across Hapaia'ali'i instead of being there every day so we can actually track it. It's an innovative way of um, having people being able to come and see things live and looking at Hapaia'ali'i from afar and learning from it for our future educational purposes.